I was walking by here and just see some bones. And it almost looks like a freaking hand. Wow. Gosh, look at this. Absolutely covered. Ooh, with ants. Absolutely covered with ants. I could put that in a box. Oh yeah, that'd fit in a uh definitely won't be going through UPS. Welcome back to another adventure at Ammonite Creek. I am your host, the Diamond Miner. So as you can see, behind me, the water level has not gone up. But I have good news. We are due for rain. Today, it might actually rain while I'm out here looking for fossils. The creek is almost not even running anymore, guys. This is terrible. And this is really terrible for Dallas-Fort Worth because this is where Dallas-Fort Worth gets a lot of their fresh water. This creek is actually from a natural spring. Yeah, believe it or not, this is really clean water. By the time it goes through several fields where oil pump units are leaking and oil's dripping into the creek and you've got dead animals, it's probably not gonna be all that clean. Barely coming over. Not good. We might find some stuff out here today and we might not. And I'm sure we will. I've never come out here and not find an ammonite. But I just wanted to get out, get away from things. Here lately, I've been going through some personal problems, which some of you are watching my community tab. Oh, check this out. That's probably the one that I was looking for in my last video. I was over here looking and looking, and that's got to be it. Uh, back to what I was saying, going through some personal things. Um, last weekend, I was out here. I had to wrap the trip up early. I was burning up. I mean, I was almost having heat strokes. So I thought I'd go home early, take the girlfriend out to dinner it. like we always do on the weekends. We always go out to eat. But when I got home, I found out that the UPS man made a special delivery and spent the night. UPS clothes in my dryer, UPS name tag, all types of medication. I can't believe the UPS would allow somebody to work for them taking that much medication. That is scary. I hope Mr. Oliver, Mr. Austin Oliver, or whatever his name was, can get the help he really needs. And he really needs to learn to keep his personal belongings in his vehicle and not take them up to a uh, an apartment where another man is living. Luckily, I'm the type of guy that just leaves. I just want to leave. I just want to get out and start my new life over. Because it could have got real ugly when she brought him over to the apartment when I asked her not to. Then they tried to force my $4,000 mattress down the steps. That's only three months old, dirtying it up, dragging it down the steps with dog pee, footprints, trash bags that's been drugged down it. Completely disgusting. And that's the type of people the UPS hires. Wow. Let's just say I won't be doing any business with the UPS anytime soon. People like that working for them. But now that we have all that out of the way, I'm doing great. I feel better just getting that off my chest, letting you all know the situation because I know some of you want to know some of you don't there's a million of you that love to know and there's a million of you that don't and if you'd like to have one of these ammonites that I'm finding and you don't win on the giveaways I mean when you got 700 comments and I'm offering like five ammonites that's almost like trying to win the lottery it's it's hard <laughs> it's fun to try you know you never know you could win but if you'd like to skip the giveaways, all you have to do is become an element and gemstone collector, and I will ship you a complete ammonite for your first monthly package, along with three pounds of unsearched diamond ore from the Crater of Diamond State Park. Many have found diamonds digging through this material. I let the final step up to you because I want to see other people find diamonds at home. Oh, look here. The piece of one. And it's pretty rough. If that was a little bit better shape, I'd save it. Let's focus on fossils now. I just cannot believe we are still in a drought. I hope it rains so hard today. Checking out this gravel layer. 
that comes out of these cliffs. And I noticed that right there. Nice little fossilized shell. It has like a reddish iron stain to it. Got the wagon loaded. Didn't bring a whole lot today. Backpack, hammer drill, some iced tea. Oh, looky here, looky here. Dang. I'm gonna save that one. It's got a crack right there, but with all this hard mud, that should keep it intact. I went like three feet and we got something here. Looks like an ammonite could be in that. Oh yeah, that's an ammonite. Man. Let me know if I should save even ammonites like this. Can't even really see it. That would be a good piece maybe for somebody to practice prepping. Here's something. Type of fossilized plant. Maybe. really cool now this looks really cool it's fossilized not sure what it is there's some other types of fossils in it right there I'm gonna set this over here by the truck it could be worth you know 10 bucks or something 20 bucks Dang, I smashed my finger. Mm. Yeah, so weird. Definitely some type of plant, fossilized plant. Almost to the jungle. And I passed this right here up. Check that ammonite out. It's got crystallization. Here's the ammonite, or it starts. Looks like it went, would go all the way like that and spiral in amazing crystals in there it would be so cool to find a complete ammonite that has minerals growing on it I'm down in the creek so dried up I can now actually see more rocks unreal i've been on a safety meeting for about two hours just trying to get things straightened out in my mind oh check this out that is awesome that probably looked really good in a museum oh my gosh look at this huge Ugh. wow i may try to take that home huge fossilized coral reef That would look really cool in a museum, huh? For your fossil collection, who would love to have this in their fossil collection? Let me know in the comments. Check this out right here. Wow, that's really cool. I'll save that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Definitely gonna save that. It's amazing that to get to these fossil layers, you'd have to dig through all of that gravel. That's over 20 feet high. Solid packed of gravel. And once you get past it, then you can start finding ammonites. Amazing. Working my way upstream. I'm gonna take this one for sure. Check out the detail. It's just a piece of an ammonite 
but it's a massive piece. Here's a piece of ammonite. Oh yeah, got detail on both sides. I'll have to keep that one. Not far from the last one we just found. Looks like something here, maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. A little rough, but you know what? That's an ammonite. And I'm sure one of you would love to own this. I was walking back to the wagon and I noticed this. That's so cool. Oh, just scoping out the area. Looks like there might be something right there in the water. Just looking right now, might see something else. Like a long rope I don't want to grab. That looks like an ammonite right there. I'm going to kick it first. There ain't no snakes under there. We got the stuff off. I know where it went. Ugh. Pretty nasty water. Get it stirred up like that. I can't even see where it went. Oh, there's a big taco right there. Look at that taco. Uh, see if I can get over here without sinking through my boots. Uh, oh man, look at that one. Nice taco ammonite in the water. Oh my gosh, look at the detail on this one. Yeah. Wow. That's a nice one for a bookshelf. You can cut that flat and get one more about that same size that'll hold your books. It's heavy. That's a good six, seven pounds right there. Walking back to the truck, I thought I would check out this gravel bar. I like to look at everything now going this way. You know, we looked at it coming this way, but it's always good to now go back over your tracks because look at this. I didn't see that from the other angle. Look at that. I didn't see that either. It's facing the other way. Both of these are facing the other direction. That's why I didn't see them. Oh man, this thing is loaded with fossils. That's a really cool piece. A couple little fossils in there. And this is the gravel bar. Oh, check this one out. Wow, oh, I'm taking that home. <laughs> I am taking this one home. That's some good detail. Sometimes they have holes going through them, just like the coral reef. But what happens is these got flattened down from all the weight. So all the holes and you know this big beautiful coral reef has been compressed together. But they're still really fun to find. And every now and then you can find them with oh with the hole. That may, well, it goes up in there, but it doesn't. And once I get all this mud dirt off and mud, it may expose some of these holes. Wow, that is so cool. Nice piece. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Another two, oh, a huge imprint of ammonite. Look at that. Really cool. Oh, that is really cool. That's a good one there. But yeah, these are really cool here. Check that one out. That's a good one. And this one right here is absolutely amazing. Really good detail. Start getting some of this stuff out of here. I will give this away. It's going to require a big box. If we can get this video up to 5,000 likes, I will ship out one of these one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment incredible 
I could put that in a box. Oh yeah, that'd fit in a, uh, definitely won't be going through UPS. I'm sure FedEx or, uh, you know, some other shipping company, anything but UPS. So I've headed back to the truck and I noticed some fossils that look a little odd. I'm kind of freaked out about it. I'm not a bone expert. I don't want to be. <laughs> Uh, I'll let you guys take a look at this, but it kind of looks like human remains when I was walking by here and just see some bones and almost looks like a freaking hand. I Don't know what to expect of that. I'm pretty freaked out by it. That's all I see. I don't see any other bones around Oh look a taco <laughs> hang on a second. Oh man, it's stuck in the mud yeah, I don't even want to touch that. Not really a big fan of this, but when it looks like that, wow. I think I'll keep it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Absolutely covered. Ooh, the ants. Absolutely covered with ants. But this is going to look amazing under the UV light. Let's take a look at it. A lot of these should fluoresce a bright orange. I just grabbed that huge coral reef. Took it up to the wagon and I stopped to pick this up. And check out the little fossils and detail on this one. It's incredible. Let's go try to remove that amulet we first noticed when we got here. Got a few things that might help. Right there. Look at how hard this stuff is. Oh wow, this may come up pretty good. You see how this, see how this is kind of brittle. But it changes, it could be brittle here and two inches over here, it's that really hard stuff. It's coming along pretty good. I don't want to chance my luck. Every time I say that, it cracks. 90% of the time, these free themselves up from this mud. But like in my last video, the concrete mud was, it was so hard like concrete that they broke. So hopefully this one will do like most of them do. It just frees itself up from vibration. Let's try this spot over here. coming up <laughs> the whole thing cool all right we got it and there's the ammonite that's gonna have some amazing detail on that bottom side this is all worn down from the water running over it for hundred thousand years million years really hard to tell that's gonna wrap it up here at ammonite creek we found some amazing fossils once again and bones that i didn't want to discover very weird and freaky it would be nice to get a lot of rain to get these water levels back up so we're not finding human remains in all these lakes and creeks and rivers pretty sad and it's really disgusting that's why i do not swim in lakes creeks because look what we're finding inside of them people very gross